Hey guys, today I'm going to be going over the new sneak peek of uh, Affinity Publisher, the new app that's coming out in 2018 put out by Affinity Serif that also puts out Affinity Photo and Designer. And um, so I'm, uh, it's sort of a different video because most of my videos are, or like all of them, are on Affinity Designer. So this one's going to be about Affinity Publisher. And after it comes out, I'm going to buy it and I'm going to start making um, some tutorials about it so you guys can learn how to do it quickly. So uh, make sure you stay tuned. And so I'm going to be looking at this video um, and telling you what I think about it right after this. Okay, so um, this is the video and it's out on, um, I think it's Vimeo, and I'm going to go back to the beginning. Okay, so it starts off and it shows an opening the app. Looks pretty cool. And this interface looks a lot like um, Affinity Designer. And I just want to go back a little bit and show you something. So, um, up here in the corner, uh, you'll see Affinity Publisher logo, Affinity Designer logo, and Affinity Photo logo. And um, I think that's sort of cool that they would maybe connect these apps. And I'm pretty sure that's what it's for, connecting the apps. And that would, I'm very excited if it does that because it would be really neat to be able to connect all these apps and then all connect them for Affinity Publisher. So you could do pixels and vector right here or stuff like that like vector text and then it will be really clear so I think that's probably what they're going to be doing and uh, we'll have to see when it comes out but I'm excited so let's continue to watch this okay so he's scrolling through these pages it's sort of like um, InDesign if you know what that is it's a, a put out by Adobe um, just like for making books or stuff that you print off with text um, and maybe even pamphlets too also. So here you can see he had just dropped a photo and he dropped a photo into this square right here with the X through it and that is a tool and I'm going to show you about that a little bit later so you can see him dropping that in and it's sort of like the insert tool except that you just drop a photo instead of having to pull it out. Uh, you pull out the, the gray thing earlier so you can design before you even have the photos for the design. So then he comes up here and um, he does this is the scaling options and I think he does scale um, to fit or scale to fill or something like that. And then um, he's creating a new page right here. And I think you can do custom pages here. Okay so right here he just took out this tool right here. It's sort of a gray tool. I can't really tell quite what it is but um, it's sort of a little, a little gray box, almost like the text tool right here. I'm not quite sure if they're done with the design or if that's just, um, I don't know, but we'll see. And so you can just drag it out, and then you can, uh, looks like you can just come and drag and drop photos into it. I think he's going to do that here. Yep. Looks really simple and really nice. Okay, so, um, and I think um, that this is going to be awesome. I'm definitely going to invest in this. Okay, so now I got the text tool, the same one with any designer. Um, and you probably have some cool new features with this one, but one I've seen on here is uh, text wrap, and it'll show. Okay, so it shows that the text is going over the box, and then he goes to text wrap, and then he does text wrap options, and then he, then there's all these different jump. I think that means just on the top and the bottom, square tight for like a circle image maybe, um, in inside edge. So the and I'm not quite sure wrap to both sides, largest side. I'm not quite sure what that means but we'll see when it comes out but that looks really cool the wrapping text that you can't you can't do that 
I don't think, in Affinity Designer. I've never tried it, at least. Um, it's definitely way better experience for um, creating pages and stuff like with it's almost like word except with that you can do all this cool stuff with design also and it's not as hard to create design elements here it looks like he's right here he looks like there's like a a panel over here that is dedicated to uh, maybe the character and then it has like little design elements that you can put in it like this one looks pretty professional the sort of uh stuff I've sort of reason I haven't seen too many of in that in old books and especially their affinity designer book that they have has a lot of those so that's the end of the video and I'm really excited about this um, if you guys like this video here and if you liked it please give me a thumbs up and if you aren't subscribed yet please subscribe and if you really want affinity publisher tutorials I'll be making those as soon as it comes out with beta and um, so I hope you join me for uh, my next tutorial.